Hi, I'm Sarah Ashton, president of Ashton Metzler & Associates. I'm here today with my colleague Jim Metzler to talk about network troubleshooting. Welcome, Jim. Sarah, thanks. It's really great to be here today. Jim, why is troubleshooting in such a challenge in today's environment? Sarah, an awful lot of reasons. I think the primary one is every organization that I work with runs their key business processes, sales, customer service, over the network. And what that means is if the network's not performing well, these key processes are not running well. Mm -hmm. But what also is the case is in so many situations, I'd say the vast majority, when a key application is not running well, the degradation of the performance is noticed first by the end user and not by IT. And when IT is made aware of the fact that the performance of an application is degrading, the typical assumption is the network is at fault. Right which leads to a new management metric of MTTI, or mean time to innocence. How long does it take for the networking group to prove it's not their fault? Now that sounds cute, but it actually is very serious because the time they're spent proving it's not the network means those apps aren't running well, means those business processes are not running well. And to further complicate things, virtually every IT shop that I work with is rolling out applications and protocols that are very sensitive to small amounts of delay, jitter, and packet loss. Applications such as voice over IP and protocols such as SIS, Common Internet File Systems. Okay, I can see why this is so important, but why is it so challenging? I guess the cute answer is complexity, complexity, complexity. And by that I mean today's environment is really complex and it looks like it's becoming more complex on a day-by-day -day basis. I'll give you some examples. Most IT organizations use MPLS, multi-protocol label switching, for their wide area network. Now MPLS is a fine technology. It's been around for a pretty good amount of time. Unfortunately, it's also very complex itself. And as a result, you get a lot of performance problems within the carriers. I'll give you an example. One of the major providers on an international basis of MPLS services in the SLA, the service level agreement that they provide to their customers, they have an availability metric. Well, that's pretty common. They exclude from the calculation of availability any outage of less than a minute, clearly evidencing the fact that they're challenged with both the availability and the performance of MPLS. Now, that's kind of today's environment. If we look forward to cloud computing, and obviously, you and I have many conversations around the hyperbole to reality ratio of cloud computing. Mm -hmm. But independent of the hyperbole, cloud computing is real today. It's becoming more real on a year-by-year -year basis. Now, that's going to make troubleshooting more important because now a lot of organizations won't be getting their key resources, applications, computing, and storage locally. They'll be accessing it from a cloud computing service provider over a wide area network. And so troubleshooting now becomes more important because if that network's not running well, neither of those applications, the computing, nor the storage. But it's also becoming more complex because there are at least three, at least three management domains the IT organization, the WAN service provider, and one or more cloud computing service providers. Then how do you recommend an IT organization approach troubleshooting? Well, that's the kind of task that most IT organizations don't outsource their own tasks. They're going to do it themselves. So that puts pressure on the IT organization to have a small number of really powerful tools. And one tool that's gotten an awful lot of attention in the last three, four, five months is from apparent networks, and the tool is called PathView. And the reason this tool is so interesting is not only can it, for the path from access to egress, not only for that path can it measure delay, jitter, and packet loss, which is very important unto itself, but it can measure those key metrics, delay, jitter, and packet loss, on a hop-by-hop -hop basis through the network, whether that's a private network or a public cloud, without added instrumentation. And that's so critical because Yes, an IT organization needs to understand when there's a problem, that's, that's absolutely the case, but it also needs to understand where the source of the problem is. So a path view from apparent networks helps IT organizations to quickly identify the problem. And I've talked with a number of users of the tool over the last couple of weeks. They've told me some very nice things about it, that it's easy to use and has good reporting. Those are all wonderful things. But they've also explained how they've used the tool to solve problems that other tools couldn't solve. And one example really stands out. This gentleman was saying that their WAN was running slowly, applications were dropping, and all their tools said things were fine. 
very challenging environment. They downloaded Pathview, they ran it overnight, and identified this link between a router and a switch, a link you wouldn't suspect of having any problems. This link had an unusual number of CRC, cyclic redundancy check errors. They determined, the IT organization, that they had a faulty um, wire between the, uh, the router and the switch, something you would not suspect. Mm -hmm. They replaced the cable, the problem went away, they're very happy. They're so happy they explained to me that they'll soon be deploying voice over IP. They're going to use Pathview from parent networks to do a pre-assessment of this, their environment as well as to do ongoing monitoring and troubleshooting once they've deployed that. But I know we've run out of time in this video, but I'm hoping in a separate video we can talk about the use of Pathview for voice over IP, both implementation and management. Jim, thanks so much for your insights on this topic, and thanks to you, our viewers. Um, we certainly will continue the discussion of how PathView helps IT organizations perform pre-assessments for their IT infrastructure before deploying voice over IP in a separate video.